All right, hi year 12, this is Mr. Lim here again, and this is our first video on acids and bases, and we're just gonna do some revision on acids and bases from last year. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is what we're going to be learning about. We're gonna be learning about, uh, uh, we're just gonna go through again, the products of general acid reactions, okay? Uh, ionic salts that are produced from acid reactions, and the types of acids being the monoprotic, the versus the polyprotics, amphoterics, and strong and weak acids bases, all stuff that we've covered in year 11. Hopefully it won't be so um, much of a throwback. Okay, so acid reactions, hopefully you remember, we've got acids and hydroxides and oxides. Hydroxides have pH minus, and oxides have pH two minus. They'll produce water and salts. So let's just say I have an acid like HNO3, also known as nitric acid. If I add that to sodium hydroxide, it will form water, H2O, and uh, the salt, which will be the Na from the uh, sodium hydroxide, and the NO3 from the um, HNO3. Okay, and that water, which is in green, uh, is just from the OH and the H there. All right. So hopefully you remember how to put salts together. It does require you to know all of your ionic formulas or all your ions so that you um, can solve for what those salt formulas will be. So please go back and learn all of your ion charges. All right. Um, next, if we have an acid like an carbonate, so carbonate is anything with a CO3 two minus or a hydrogen carbonate, HCO3 one minus. Okay, so an acid like H2SO4 and a carbonate like, uh, let's do um, potassium carbonate. All right, potassium carbonate. Uh, so that's gonna form, that's gonna form water from the H's and one of those O's and carbon dioxide from the, car from the rest of that there and it's gonna form that salt, which will be from the K and the SO4. Okay, so knowing that the K is the one plus the SO4 is one, the two minus, that's, so you put it to K2SO4, that's gonna be a skill that you're gonna really have to remember. So please, please, please learn those ionic formulas. And then for example, an acid and a reactive metal. So we're gonna be going through reactive metals in redox, because this is technically a redox reaction, right? But uh, react the non-reactive metals are probably easier to remember. The non-reactive metals are silver, gold, and copper. Okay, so any metals that aren't those three will react with acids. So let's say we have HCl and a reactive metal like uh, aluminium. Okay, it's going to form uh, the salt, which will be Al and then Cl3 and then the hydrogen gas which comes from just the acid there. All right, so those are our, um, what's my jiggies? The uh, acid reactions, okay? There are all of the old ones, so there are probably some videos uh, for those somewhere as well, so you can go look for those. Let's move on. Okay, so we have types of acids. What are the types of acids? We have monoprotic, which just means one hydrogen, diprotic, two hydrogens, and polyprotics which means two or more hydrogens. So diprotics are technically polyprotics as well. All right, so monoprotic, HCl, HNO3, CH3COOH. Remember, this is the only H that comes off. All right, diprotics, H2SO4, or carbonic acid, H2CO3, and two or more, so H3PO4 is a possible uh, a polyprotic acid, okay? So just remembering those words and understanding what those mean, especially your diprotic acids, okay? And your polyprotic acids. Generally, they'll tell you if it's a diprotic or triprotic acid, just to see if you can understand that that means it's gonna have a one to two or a one to three ratio with any hydroxides that are present. Okay, so when, you, when you're reading a question, look, if you see the word diprotic, just remember, that gives you the information that you need for the stoichiometric ratio between hydrogens and hydroxides. All right. Um, and then amphoteric substances, which have the ability to uh, act as acids or bases by receiving or donating protons. Okay, so an amphoteric substance 
is an example of water. If it donates a proton, right, it'll be that proton there and the OH minus, okay? So that hydrogen is donated away and then it's only left with the OH minus, okay? But if it receives a proton, if it receives a proton, it ends up being H3O plus, okay? So um, it has the ability to donate or receive a proton and turn into either OH or H3O plus. This H3O plus has a name, it's called the hydronium ion. Hopefully we remember that from last year, all right, and for enteric substances. And then types of acids, okay? So we have the strong versus uh, weak, okay? Where they completely or partially ionize, okay? So completely ionize generally means it's gonna have a very high K value. It's not gonna really be an equilibrium system, right? Whereas a weak acid with only partial ionization is going to be a substance with a fairly low K value, which means it's gonna form an equilibrium system, which means that uh, the equilibrium principles apply to weak acids and bases. All right, that's, uh, that's it. All right, so uh, just if you do, don't remember some stuff, go find uh, the year 11 videos on this channel and uh, we'll see how we go. Adios.